there in, uh, in Priam land. It's good to see you, good to be with you guys. We're a few minutes before our holiday. This holiday should be celebrated by the majority of people on planet Earth because the majority of people believe in Moses and in his five books of Moses. So they're missing the holiday, the Christian world and Muslim world, the Baha'i world, and a lot of New Age. This is a holiday for everyone. And you guys, Ephraim has created uh, coins, silver coins with the temple on it. But before the temple, what was our original temple, so to speak, was the Sinai Revelation. That was the great Sanhedrin, the great court with the elders there, the Levites, the priests, and Moshe at the top as the chief rabbi. So they, it's very appropriate for this holiday, a, a silver coin with the Revelation at Sinai in front of the nation. That's a big deal to us. Because one person's testimony in his own imagination doesn't affect the nation but the whole nation was there and we're very critical people and we're very critical thinking and, you know we won a big hunt for the Nobel Prizes so you can't fool all the people all the time and this was a national revelation that's what we need for our future leadership to and the whole nation will know who our Messiah is and who our leader is so they have chauffeurs here the chauffeur is a call the, the yeah. different sounds of the chauffeur that re, that correspond to joy that correspond to crying that corresponds to weeping it's a very interesting offer i heard from Pat, patrick that ephraim wants to give these silver coins with the temple and the revelation at sinai to the nation and our wonderful prayer instruments. These are our instruments of prayer that reach the highest of heavens together to raise funds, to empower Ephraim, to educate the world and defend the, the Jews and Judaism and the Torah so they have ammunition to fight the anti-Semitism out there and to educate people that God has a gender. just wanted to mention something about the uh, idea of these coins. You know, a, a river issued forth from Eden to water the garden. Water is symbolic of the Torah, of purity, life, and free flowing of good things, like the free, free freedom of cash transactions. So there is, and there was, it became this water that flew out, flowed out of Eden became four river heads. The river was rich in minerals and nutrients that even the offshoots endowed lands they watered with great abundance. One of one of them, the Habila, transfer transverses the entire land where gold is found. The gold that land is good. Who tells us this? The opening chapters of the Hebrew Bible. Also found there are other precious, precious products. God, Hashem, placed man in the garden, having motivated him to cultivate it and guard it enthusiastically. The mission of humanity is to take this world and its produce and improve, develop, and make it a better place out of it. Make a better place out of this material world to work and with creative activity our intrinsic facets of our inner selves. Six days you work, right? The seventh day is rest. In the garden, with the main needs provided, our divine task was still to improve, perfect, and reveal the goodness, the spiritual within the physical, the spirit within the, the, the heavy physical finite world. To take raw gold, for example, place on an artistic be beauty, describing in etched form of our covenant with God, Torah, history, and each other. That's a good thing to do with gold. And we of Matt Mossad Maccabi are, are honored to bless this project of our dear friends. And we hope that you can back them on this project. 
which will enable them to reach out and defend Judah and educate the general public that God has an agenda. A God that loves is a God that commands. And these coins have been beautifully engraved with historic and biblical scenes of our heritage, the revelation at Sinai, the temple, and that adds significantly to its value. So these decorative coins, along with the shofar, our, our musical instrument of prayer, presents possibilities and educational, inspirational content, which is enormous. And I, I hope you guys, I wish you guys luck and blessing in your outreach. And tonight, we'll, we'll ca hope to see all you people at Sinai as we all learn Torah together from our elders and our and Moses. Be well this time to next time. Be besimcha, be be enjoy. Shalom, so wir stehen hier inmitten des Berges Zion. So heute ist der zweite Tag von Shavuot, der siebte Sivan, der 13. Juni. Und wir haben für euch ein super special Angebot. Einmal diese Münze vom letzten Jahr, Shavuot Edition, ne, wo die Toragebung war auf dem Berg Sinai. Und ihr wisst ja, was wir machen dass das alles Geld kostet und aufwendig ist. Und deswegen haben wir gedacht, wir machen ein super special Angebot und erfüllen hier live vor Ort für dich das Gebot aus Joel 2. Stoßt in das Schofar, das Witterhorn, auf dem Berg Zion. Und jeder, der jetzt dieses Angebot kauft, wird teilhaftig dieser Mitzwa und allen Segen, der daraus wächst. Und äh, wie der Avi schon in dem vorhergehenden Video gesagt hat, macht mit, unterstützt uns und wir finden das gut. Wir finden das gut und wir können auf jeden Fall die Arbeit äh, von uns unterstützen. Und jetzt waren wir für über Shavuot, für Vater hier und äh, haben versucht, die ganze Mitzwa für die ganze Erbengemeinschaft mitzufüllen. Und ja, dann freuen wir uns gleich aufs Blasen. Ich hoffe, das funktioniert. <lacht> Okay. Ähm, ja, ich habe es im Newsletter schon gesagt, ähm, wir brauchen natürlich auch die Unterstützung, deswegen auch dieses coole Angebot, um das Ganze auch ein bisschen special zu machen. Und, äh, Schofa und Münze. Schofa und Coin. Ähm, vielleicht jetzt sieht es noch ein bisschen, ich sage mal in Anführungszeichen, wertlos aus, aber im Verlauf der Story, je weiter wir vorankommen, desto wertvoller wird das. Es ist also nicht nur die Erfüllung eines Gebotes, sondern halt auch etwas von der Story bei sich zu Hause zu haben und... Äh, damit ja, ähm, angeben zu können. Ja, ja nicht nur angeben zu können, sondern auch mit dem Kauf dieses Schofas unterstützt ihr natürlich auch uns, die gesamte Erbengemeinschaft, die gesamte Nation Ephraim in ihrem Weiterkommen und natürlich ans Ziel kommen. Also ihr seid daran aktiv beteiligt. Jawohl. So, wir hören die Trommeln im Hintergrund. Wir werden eingetrommelt, also <lacht> würden wir sagen, lasst uns losnehmen. Okay. okay. Und?